uh, Resibian LGBTI when I was in senior two, I was 14 years. We live in my country as an LGBTI one, it's so scary. No one wants you, your family, you've got no friends, you can't tell anyone who you are because you're scared someone is going to hurt you, someone is gonna, you know, report you because it's not allowed. You're in trouble, <laughs> really trouble. So most of us run away from our countries because you are looking at for self heaven. But when you come here, you see people are living out, out. You you find a girl kissing a girl on the street, which is not allowed in Africa. I have a daughter. I left my daughter with my grandmother, so I had to run. I didn't even say bye bye to her because I was looking for safe heaven. So I ran away from Africa. To be honest, I don't want my daughter to grow up, even knowing that my mom was, you know, raped because she of her. I left her when she was eight months. By then she was just crawling on the floor. I know now she doesn't know me, but at least when she sees me on, on WhatsApp calling, she knows my mom is on the phone. Because I already said I have to talk to my daughter at least once a day because I don't want her to forget me. I don't want her to know that I was raped. Everything will be fine.